Well, he hasn't been doing a very good job this time, helping sticks not hit me. Rob, watch that, watches, what is that? It's a coyote. Ouch! Tim and he Christmas, they got me in the eyeball. Oh, geez, this is, this is a mess of a video. That, that's a weird one. Whoa, we're zooming. Listen, it kept zooming and I didn't, uh, I have a finger off the button. Years ago, you Can I get a pig? Do we have to go on bumpy clean? Right there? No, there. Yeah. Uh, no. Welcome to Real Life with Michelle and Rob, where we lose things in the woods. Oh, jeez! Where are we going? This is comical. Now that piece of the camera that always falls off just fell off. Oh, my gosh! Are you kidding me? All right, we've lost a gas can. Kaka is a word, you guys. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. We're gonna go for a ride and show you some cool things like what we have planned. But first of all, I want everybody to know. Hi. Hi. That this is a shout out video. Normally when we go riding like this, I like to do shout out videos. Tell us who you are in the comments so we can come subscribe to you or other people can come subscribe to you. That's a good way of doing it. In this community, everybody is so kind and so nice. Comment your channel something about you or just comment down below hello if you see that comment and you think the name of the channel is interesting go check them out check them out subscribe everybody like support each other because that's what this is all about let's all grow on youtube together that's it yeah so what's exciting happening for us this year for next year we are at my father-in-law's house, Rob's dad's, mm -hmm. and he has plowed a spot for us that I haven't seen yet, and we're going to grow corn. Yep, sweet if corn. You, if you watched like our corn husking video, I think it was, I think that's Couple the video. Them, yeah. Rob keeps telling me, no, we can't have corn. No, we can't have corn. My father-in-law said we could have corn at his house, so he's the hero now. Well, our little, our little lot just doesn't have room for corn. Over here, we have the room for corn. He's already tilled us up a spot. He has tractors and things to do that with. So let's go check that out. Oh, well, that's a little bit muddy up there. Ooh, cucka. Cucka mud. Cucka is a word, you guys. That is cucka. See all the deer tracks? I do see all the deer tracks. This is going to be the new cornfield next year. It's gonna be quite a bit of corn. About a half acre. And it, we're, we're here in the evening, so it's gonna get a lot of morning sun. Rob's plan is planting corn on the outside that he knows the deer is gonna eat. We know that's gonna happen because this is in the middle of the, of the woods out here. We'll feed the deer. Plus, his hunting stand is very close to this. Right behind us, about Yeah, it, it's like 30 yards. It's like right over, over there. So we're gonna attract the deer also. We're gonna put some pumpkins in here too. So grandkids, if you're watching, Gmo's growing pumpkin. And yes, you can come out here and, and check them out with me when we get them when we get them in. We've already got some corn lined up from a farmer, a local farmer that has good corn. Mm -hmm. Good sweet we, corn. Yeah, we've got some, some corn lined up. We're getting corn. We have corn next year. Carrying yeah. on. I don't know where, where are we going? I thought we were going to your tree stand. I am. All right. We've got this bag of corn over here that I'm babysitting. He's gonna put that out for the deer. Did you bring the corn cobs from the refrigerator? I think they're all gone. I used them all. Oh, you already put them out? Yep. Okay. I did I did give him some of my corn cobs for putting them out here. The rest is gonna be corn cob jelly though. Well, he just informed me that we're gonna do corn on both sides. Well, there's a little ditch, a little drainage ditch that runs right in the dead furrow. It runs right down the middle here. So we'll get water. The water? Water. Oh, okay. The water flows through here. We have so on both, on both sides, sides of this ditch. We're gonna put the corn. So it'll get sun at different times of the day, yeah. depending on where the sun is, of course. Yeah, that would make sense, don't you think? You also see we have the chainsaw with us and the gas can. Well, the sun's gonna be in a different location in the summer next year, too. We're, we're heading into fall, so the sun's gonna be kind of going different, right, leaning right. in a different direction. So 
we'll get more sunlight. Right. So next year we're going to experiment with the corn. Yep. And he keeps telling me I can't have chickens. So now I'm going to start with the pig. I want a pig. Think he'll let me get a pig? He told me I can't have chickens. So you know what? The pig. The pig is the next best option. I'll just say, you know what, since you won't let me have a chicken, can I have a pig? He's got to say yes to that, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. All right, we've lost a gas can. Oh, whoa, he's getting on. On, he's joining us. He's back. He's back, folks. Now we're going to go over this big log, and I'm going to probably fall off the back of this thing. I don't know why we couldn't have turned. Oh, we're going up a hill now. With Oh, you have to see this. piece of the camera that always falls off just fell off. So he's retrieving that. This is uh thanks. I'm gonna put it in my pocket. Well I might need I have to have it though. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to Real Life with Michelle and Rob where we lose things in the woods. Things fall off, things fall apart. But you know what? We do, we just keep on going. And evidently we're gonna bring that big old piece of stick with us. This is comical. Can't have a peaceful ride anywhere ever. Yep, there. We'll just, we'll leave it there. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Now you see that? See that? We went over the big log or that little log stick thing and got whacked in the head with that. I, don't, I think it might have taken the ponytail out. Where's Tina when you need her? Tina, you and I would have a blast doing this. You come up here to Ohio and I'll put you on the back of this thing and we'll ride around the woods for a while. Now, that would be, that would be fun. Anybody don't know who I'm talking about, that's Adventures of Frank and Tina. Go check them out. If I remember, I'll put, we're on Bumpy, do we have to go on Bumpy Land? put links to this in the description. If I forget, just search the adventures of Frank and Tina. Go watch Tina drive Frank around town. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. All right, over there is his tree stand. Right there. No, there. Yeah. No. Hold on. I'll try to zoom. Well, I'm zooming. Do you see it? Because there it is. There it is. You see it? There's his tree stand. And this is where we're baiting the deer. Because in the state of Ohio, you are allowed to do that. So why not? Right there, deer? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, years ago... You Can I get a pig? Years, years ago, you weren't allowed to. Can I get a pig? And a few years ago, they finally said He's you could. He's ignoring me. Can I get a pig? We'll see. You know what we'll see means. If you have kids, you know what that means. No, that means ask your mom. Go ask dad. Go ask mom. Go ask the other parent. You know what? I'm going to go ask my dad if I can get a pig. In fact, dad, can I get a pig? I'm sure you're watching this because my dad watches my videos now. Say hi to my dad in the comments. <coughs> that way. I bet the unpaved explorer hasn't squirrel. been this way before. Did you see a squirrel? I did see the squirrel. Yeah, the unpaved where? explorer, he is from the, the Cleveland area, close to us. And he's been doing some videos on his channel. He's been camping with food storage and things like that. So the unpaved explorer, go see him. Another tree stand of Rob's. See it there? He's got options back here, hunting options. But there's another one of his tree stands. That's the one I just painted last this, this oh, last month. Oh, nice paint job on there. Look mm -hmm. at. In one of the videos, I show him painting that tree stand. Maybe in my gross. Whoa, we're zooming. Listen, it kept zooming, and I didn't. I, I have a finger off the button. But yeah, he painted this tree That's stand. Tree skirt, made. tree skirt, he got it all. He got it all up there, didn't he? Oh, look. 
he's baking again right here because as I said in Ohio we can do this I certainly hope we don't run into a beehive out here castle hives you know he's got a lot of bees and he's in our area too he lives about 15 minutes away from us check out castle hives because he's got hives he does live streams live by the hive and if you want to learn about bees and queens go check out castle hives Another channel that I really, really enjoy watching, and I watch this every evening. Every evening I watch this. Nona Grace. Everybody loves him some Nona Grace. Well, Nona Grace is probably an hour or hour and a half away from us, farther north. She lives in New York. Where does she live, babe? Western New York. Western New York, because both Rob and I watch Nona Grace. I enjoy her content. She has chickens. And recently, she cared for a chicken in her house. And you, she has a video on there of the chicken hatching out of the egg. And I just thought that was the coolest thing. Go check her out. Her chickens, she does crocheting. And she does all the things. Just all the things. That's Nona Grace. And she cooks, too. Mm -hmm. She does some of that, too. She, she just does it all. Bees. I just saw a bee. And you know what that reminded me of? Oh. Go figure. Mike's Bees and Gardens. He is close to us also. Rob watch that, watches that. Rob watches his channel more than I do. I will admit to that. Rob. Rob. Yo. That's my husband. Yeah. That's me. He watches that more than I do. So Yeah. He's, yeah. he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Good guy. All right. Well, in the description will be his link also. Mm -hmm. Are you sure that's not two Bigfoot? There, two there. Right Look there, that. that little one with the Whoa, purple fingers. Whoa, it won't quit zooming. Sorry. Okay, there. See that one with the fingers? That's a raccoon. Oh, okay. Raccoon. We got the raccoons and we got, we got there's a, the deer. That one's odd, though. Look at that. That's a this weird way and deer two track. That, that's a weird one. Maybe we found Bigfoot. Nope, not Bigfoot. Well, we may have found... We may have found Bigfoot there, folks. Maybe if we find him, yeah, he'll stay out of our garden. Maybe if he's here, he'll stay out of our garden. He's got us in a mess right now. All these, I don't know what, are you going through there or not? Oh, behind us. See, we're getting clobbered by leaves and trees and branches and all the things. Oh, here we go. He's making his own trail. A new trail. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? Did you enjoy that? Yeah. That caught me right in the tip of the nose. I'm gonna, I'm surely gonna lose my ponytail. Oh, here, look. He found a path. More tracks. Coyote. Coyote. All right. Show. How do you, oh, yep. Why you do that? What? Lean that thing over every time. Oh, I dropped it again. Oh, geez. This is this is a mess of a video. Look, there it is down there. Thank you. You might as well just hold on. Why don't you just keep it in your pocket? Put the nails on this guy. Hold on a minute. Oh wow. Oh, there we go. Doing it. That like a fox. Well, it could be a fox or a small coyote. Look at that. There it is. What is that thing? Is that a turkey? No. What is that? It's a coyote. That's a coyote? The, yeah. With the long things? Yeah. Look how long those nails are on that thing. Holy cow. I never even... No wonder everybody says get rid of the coyote. Look at those. Those are vicious. More tree branches for us to hit. Oh, those got prickers on them. He's usually... Oh, he's getting them. Usually he, like, guards me. Well, he hasn't been doing a very good job this time helping sticks not hit me. 
Are you doing that on purpose, sir? Probably. Are you doing that on purpose? Well, we got most of them cut down last time. I know that, but I got hit right area. in the we nose and everything yet. else. We're in a new area. Oh. Well, look up there. There is a tree crossing the whole... I bet that's why he brought his chainsaw. Goodness. Doesn't that hurt your hand? Yeah. All right, onward. There is a big tree up here. I mean, a huge, huge tree. This is probably why he brought it. Ouch! Jim, and he Christmas, it got me in the eyeball. Normally, I don't yell and complain this whole ride, but he's letting every stick out in the woods hit me in the head. You see that hey, log? I'm, we, sh uh, I'm sure that's why we, we kind of here. brought the chainsaw. This is the tree I'm after. This tree fell down a couple years ago. And, uh, it's a pin oak. So it's probably good and dry by now. Okay. I'm going to try to see if I can cut into it and see how bad it is. Oh, Alright, I'm going to get off this. Next question is, is how to get it out of here. Well, isn't that how, why you rebuilt your trailer? Well, that's why I'm rebuilding it, yes. We want the wood from this tree. I'm walking through all this just so I could get a good shot of him cutting this tree. I'm nuts. Probably gonna get poison ivy. All right, while he's doing that, I thought we could talk about some more channels. Simply.